Okay, now the car is fixed. It's not making noises. We brought it back, they did things, now it's working. Well, it was working before, but now it's not making noises. Off we go to serve people. There's a dog. <laughs> I have no idea, no idea if you guys saw that. Hopefully you did, because that's the whole point of me having these glasses. Ah, squirrel! Move! Do you want to die? God damn. Well, the other Subaru is there. I chased him for a, a little while. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think he, I don't know if he ever knew it was me behind him. We've seen each other before now, a few times on the road. Uh, where we spotted each other and, and we've done the signature kind of like, hey, fellow person driving same car as me, wave. Um, but yeah, I don't, I've, I haven't actually met the driver yet. At some point I'm going to have to. At some point I'm actually just going to need to interact with him. Because who knows? Maybe, maybe that is a potential friend slash acquaintance person. Ah, that's bright. It's a good thing I have the glasses on. <laughs> Jeez, give me at least some of the road, will ya? <laughs> I didn't realize the air conditioner was on. So I'm in a bit of a debacle here. So I think I'm going to have to update my goals for getting cars because unless if this channel just kicks off amazingly, somehow, I don't know how, um, I'm going to have to change the goals for when I want to get the M3 and other things like that. Because big stung calculations I have made, that's not going to be possible. Unless if I sell, like, organs on the black market. And I don't know where I'm going to get any of those apart from myself. I doubt that mine are really going to be worth much. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, here, here's my updated timeline. And then you guys might also enjoy this too, and it might also provide better content. Oh my god, that's bright. The deadline for getting the M3 is before 2024, which is when the R34 GTR becomes legal in the US. The reason why that's the deadline is because I also want an R34. And so I want to try to get a try to get the car before then. And I should definitely be able to, but then that also gives me time to modify this car, um, which is good because I found a really cool looking body kit uh, on subispeed.com. Uh, it's, I think it's, an, it's a Blitz Aero, it's, it's something like Blitz Aero Spec R, Aero R concept, and it looks awesome. Originally, there was uh, the charge speed like carbon trim kit thing that I liked, but then I found the, the Blitz kit which changes, actually changes the front bumper and side skirts and rear bumper, essentially. And I'm just like, oh yeah, that, that's just so much better. The, mo the more change, the better. So that's, that's really cool. Um, it's expensive as heck. Um, so that means that uh, it is very likely that I will be modding this car in the future first instead, rather than getting the, oh geez, potholes, getting the BMW. Oh, that was such a good crackle pop. I have got to get a GoPro so that I can record that. Because that just sounds so cool. Man, that's really bright. Nope, got to lock the doors again. <laughs> and so in a couple days, uh, what's the date today? The date is March 30th, so in a couple days it will be April 1st. And this year, that means it's going to be April Fool's Day, and it's also going to be Easter, both on the same day, which is weird. It's really weird. <laughs> so basically, if I do end up changing the deadline for getting the M3 to, from my 21st birthday to um, any time between now and 2024, uh, I will modify this car, and the first things I will get will probably be the HGC power exhaust system with the headers, the J-pipe, and the exhaust and all that. Um, I'll reorder my siphon carbon wing. And um, 
that'll be like the first like batch of stuff. I might be able to also put a, a Type S blow off valve in there, just to sound, make it sound cool. Uh, and then after that, I'm not too sure. Do I go with the, the turbo kit, the body kit, or the wrap? It's hard, hard to tell, hard to say. Kind of depends on a lot of different factors. Oh, there's a really heavily modified Jeep behind us. Unfortunately, there's a much less interesting car between us and it. So who knows if you, if you guys are even going to get to see that. Nope, they turned off. Damn it. Oh, look, an eclipse with weird taillights. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but the people back there in their in, the, in their car were uh, one of them. One of, one of them's filling out some kind of paper or something, and. Uh, I saw both of them do this hand gesture, and while I'm sure it's fine, then they're like communicating stuff, but it'll just look funny without any sound. Uh, oh yeah, well you know, I probably make it look even weirder because I'm by myself. <laughs> it feels really good to be driving this again, like driving an automatic after getting so used to this just doesn't feel right. Doesn't. Once you go manual, it's very, very hard to go back to automatic. Oh, look, it's a Dodge Dart S10. Is that newer than the C10? Yeah, probably. Looks kind of newer. Hello, big truck. I wonder how much. Gl oh my gosh, that's really bright. I wonder how much glare you guys get when I'm dealing with that stuff. Man, it's I, the the moment I saw that body kit, I immediately was like, "Oh no, I'm gonna give him the temptation the moment I can get that." Oh, I mean, it's so expensive and just. Oh. I like how these guys are just constantly driving side by side. It's like a moving roadblock. Oh. I heard a vroom, and I looked to the right, and the motorcycle guy was right there, and we both looked at each other. That was funny. I feel like there was some kind of silent communication going on there, but I don't really know how to put it into words. That's funny. I'm not even at work yet, and I'm already yawning. That bodes well. Oh my god. Where are you going, minivan? Alright, well, as I blind you guys with the power of the sun, I am going to go to work. And make money, hopefully. <laughs> I have not left myself a lot of time to get to work today. Oh, what the? There we go. But we should be fine. Because I am driving. Duh. <laughs> I forgot the signal. That person didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> That's why they stopped. I'm like, why are they stopping? There's usually no one else on these roads, so that felt really weird. Oh man, there's a lot of rain today. Oh, by the way, so two things happened yesterday that are cool. One is when I was bringing carts into the store, uh, a customer was rearranging them and fixing them. Cause you know, so how like, um, it, for the cart racks that are outside, there is, um, there are labels for large carts and small carts. 
and usually people get that mixed up somehow. I don't know, some people can't read, you know, literacy. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing, it's a tough world. But anyways, one of, one of the, uh, oh look at the duck and some babies. Oh, I have no idea if you guys can even see that. Oh no, that's not a duck and some babies, that's a duck and its mate. They're going out to do the business. Get busy. Quack, quack, motherfuckers. 